Good morning. Good morning, guys. You guys are going to be spending the day with me today. I figured I would just do a productive day in my life routine because I feel like I know that today will be a productive day for me. So, yeah. The first thing on our list is daycare drop off. Let me in. So, I use this board right here to plan my day. Um, and I've already done that. I planned my day today, yesterday, if it makes sense. Like, I planned my day yesterday <laughs> yes so i have a few things that i have to do today um so daycare drop off is the first on my list so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go put her things together matter of fact i actually prepped her food and packed it up yesterday so it's in the fridge so i just have to like put her things together make her bag ready and then i usually wake her up at like 6 45 ish so that she can take a bath take some breakfast and then by 7 15 Jackie's here and we're going to daycare Jackie gets here at 7 20 so yeah always grateful to Jackie for taking time out like I need her to know it every time and I will tell her every time I tell her in person I will tell her here like I'll tell her every time <laughs> I need her to know that I'm so grateful that even like she's she's not supposed to be doing it She's not supposed to be inconveniencing herself coming at seven, but she does it every time. She, I mean, she can say that she won't do it, but she does it every time. And I'm very grateful, um, you know, to my friend. I love you, friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> but anyway, so Jackie's going to be at 7.20 and then we're going to do the daycare drop off. So let's get that off the list. I literally just woke up, brushed my teeth, um, you know, put some moisturizer on my face because... That's usually the first thing I'm able to do on daycare days. Um, so let's go and do that. Prep the stuff and get it together. But this board is very useful, very helpful. I just want to say that. Planning my day, it's planning my day is key for me. I could, if I have a day and I want it to be productive, it has to be planned. I have to have a to do list. I have to have a set of things that in that day I'm going to be doing. So if i don't do that the day is just going to be a blip like i'm just gonna sit down watch tv like yesterday i had a whole day planned and i did everything on that list that's how i know that my day has been productive so that's what i mean when i say um, a productive day in a life everything on my list i'm able to check it off so and today um the reason why i'm doing this video today is because honestly when my daughter goes to daycare that's the time that I can do a lot. I'm not even kidding. When she's home, she's like, mommy, mommy, mommy. Like, everywhere you pass, she, like, she, you, you pass here and she's there. You go to the kitchen, she's there. You go to the living room, she's there. Like, she's everywhere. She, you're not able to do so much. You're filming, she's in the camera. So, when she goes to daycare, the days that she has daycare, I just take advantage of that. Create as much content as I can. Clean up the house. Like, that's legit. Like, I clean up the house. So, um, Tuesday she went to daycare I clean out the whole house today's Thursday um, I'm gonna create content and just like have content backed up for the weekend because I have um, I have a hip appointment on Sunday Sunday morning and I don't think I can create content on Sunday so I'm just gonna take today to do all of that get my life in order and then yeah I think you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion You don't love me no more Babe, give me something to work with Can you just reassure me?
Jax is here. We're going. Auntie Jax always. We love you. Here I am. <laughs> I made it, guys. She did. She did. How did you get here so fast? Oh my goodness. No, you I'm sure he can see you shouting. Well, he's the one who let me in the road and now. Oh careful, God, oh careful, God, careful, oh God, careful, oh careful, 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 Jax. Oh careful, oh Jax. Oh my god. It's okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. There were two the two of us on the road is always messy. Anyway. You guys, we're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship, going through the sky. Yeah, in the we morning we try to make sky. noise for good energy. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Yes. It's like the meme we used to send me at work <laughs> of the girl um, from Bad Girls. Like, I know. Good morning. good morning. Like the morning has to have some vibes. Okay, it needs some vibes. Um, but we're on our way to get daycare drop off. I look crazy. Like, look at my hair. <laughs> Welcome to Welcome to the club. Anyway, look at her. I saw it on my eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whenever I bring you to the living room, I'm like, oh, no. The lightning is always bad. Um, you guys, I am back from daycare run. I have the stuff on my hair because on my head. <laughs> what am I saying? I have on this turban because my hair underneath looks terrible extremely terrible plus my edges i'm over it it is time for me to do some workouts oh suddenly the lightning became good we like that anyway um so i did daycare drop off bye telly tubbies i did daycare drop off um she's in school i'm about to do some workouts and then I can get into the day. Today is baby's birthday. My ba my big baby. My husband. <laughs> today is my, my, my love's birthday, okay? Today is my love. The love of my life. <laughs> today is his birthday, so we're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Um, he's actually working, so <laughs> it's not like crazy. Um, but yesterday I did lower body, so today I'm going to do, yesterday I did core. The day before I did lower body, yesterday I did core, today I'm going to do um, upper body. So let's get into some upper body workouts. <laughs> what? <laughs> let's do some workout, you guys. I'm so tired. My head is aching. I don't know what it is, but I have a headache and I'm about to install a new wig, so I feel like... Is that a good time to do it but let me work out and then I can decide I work out with this lady growing this girl she's really good I love working out I'm so happy that's my girl hi <laughs> Love. How you learn, they never taught love You keep it peaceful and equal, I'm used to wars, love Hard love, I'm used to trauma, used to drama Got a list of bad exes, plus I got a baby mama, them. Still you keep it solid, them. put that on my mama, them. Way you build me up, you probably add an extra comma, them. Accommodation, destination, running to a flight We ain't never coming back, I hope you didn't pack light Okay, you guys, so bath time is over I put on my outfit for the day. I will show you in a little bit, but I want to talk about this combination. <laughs> so yesterday, for whatever reason, I said, let me, I've been pairing different perfumes. I've actually been trying like different scents to see what my vibe is because I feel like I'm just now getting back into the perfume game. I'm not going to lie. I, one thing I always say is that, <laughs> one thing I always say is that my taste in perfumes or my taste generally is very expensive. So I like to like 
take my time and then when I can afford it I actually buy what I want because the things I want are like expensive <laughs> and not in a bad way it's just like I like nice things okay so I like to be able to afford them it's just that's just all I'm saying so before I didn't have any perfumes I didn't have like I had like basic perfumes like I would have like a body splash from Victoria's Secret so like stuff like that but now that I've started getting into actual perfumes I'm looking at different scents or like just trying out different scents that works for me and yesterday I tried this combination this is the black opal um, YSL black opal what am I saying black opal is makeup goodness black opium <laughs> black opium YSL and then this is Terry this perfume okay it's spicy Terry I think it's also Victoria's Secret let me see I, I I don't really know one thing one thing that I do know is that I picked this up from Marshalls let me tell you guys don't sleep on the perfumes that they sell at Marshalls okay I bought this perfume from Marshalls as well as this perfume this particular one here this one is a floral fruity scent it's a very sweet if you're a floral girl you would love this it's called blushing baby I got it at Marshalls and then I got this one also at Marshalls now this one is more masculine it smells like more strong and then yesterday for whatever reason I paired it with the black opium from YSL tell me why this combination was passing what I'm like I think I might have found my scent because I loved it so much I could smell myself throughout the whole day and then like you know eventually in the middle of the day like when I smell myself I'm like oh I like that like it's it was a real caring I like how I smell I like how I smell you know and it just felt really good so I said let me put you guys on if you go to Marshalls and you see any perfumes in Marshalls please try them out because they're really good they sell nice stuff I'm not gonna lie so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to pair these two. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> Perfume excites me, literally. <laughs> smelling good, feeling good. Smelling good for me equates feeling good. Like, when I smell good, I feel good. When I look good, I feel good. <laughs> I feel amazing. Uh, and I'm going to top it up with the black opium. <laughs> One thing also that I'm excited for is that I ordered the very popular TikTok perfume. You know that perfume, when it comes I'll show you. I'm hoping that it comes today so that I can show you guys in this vlog. But it's the very popular one the pink bottle that everybody talks about i think it's called la fafa or latifa i don't know the name <laughs> but when it comes i'll show you and i'm excited to try that one out because the girls say it smells really good and i fell for it so i bought it um but when i'm done with like you know putting myself together doing my workout and all of that i am um, i do have to make breakfast i told you guys that today is my baby boy's birthday when i say my baby boy my husband he's a big baby so i like to call him baby boy because he's literally a big baby so <laughs> today's his birthday and i'm thinking of what to do for him i do know what i want to do for him i want to make a top there's these like small insects because the sun is coming out a lot more the small insects are coming out and it's so annoying i hate them so much like i hate insects they just annoy me I mean I'm grateful for nature but they annoy me <laughs> I just had to put that out there but it's my husband's birthday right um, and I do want to make him a tour for those of you who don't know what a tour is it's basically um, a local meal from Ghana that we usually make for people on their birthday isn't that crazy it's like the one time they would ever make that for you is when it's your birthday it's like a, I don't know I think the old people or like the older generation they have some sort of spiritual connotation that goes with that I have no idea I should definitely ask someone maybe my dad but I want to make that for him it's made with plantain you just cook the plantain and then you you know you don't cook it al dente so the plantain doesn't have to be so soft um, I'll make it with you guys so you see what it looks like and then you top it up with some palm oil some granites and some eggs it's very basic 
but it's such a nice birthday type of food for whatever reason if they serve you that on your birthday it's always so like filling it's like so nice it feels really good it comes with a vibe let me I, let me just say that if you're from ghana you know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna make my husband that and then later in the evening i will make him his favorite food which is cassava leaf that's not his favorite food but that's one of his favorite foods so i'll make him that because he's been talking about wanting to eat that for a minute and i have that in the fridge so i'm just going to defrost that and then um later in the evening i'll make that for him and then i think we'll also order some pizza just to have some i honestly wanted to order food out all day i'm not gonna lie but thinking of the type of foods that i want to make for him i think i'll just make it so i'll just make the eto cassava leaf and then pizza so that's what we're eating today let me also just say that i'm fasting so i haven't eaten anything all day it's almost 11 i will eat my first meal at 12. Um, i'm just bringing myself back into you know routine working out eating healthier because i fell off for like a good three weeks <laughs> i know that's not a long time but for me that's a that's a, if anybody who works out it's a crazy amount of time to not work out and not be conscious about your you know well-being <laughs> so i'm just trying to put myself back in check and i'm fasting right now so i will break my fast at 12. i do have to run a few errands buy the plantain i have to go to the post office to send a few things out so i will do that you guys oh my god <laughs> you know why i'm laughing i'm laughing because i said to myself that today was gonna be a productive day you know i'm gonna film content i did film content i did i filmed this hair so that is out of the way but now i have to do my makeup and like you know do outfit film some bear with bahini i'm not for it <laughs> like it's my husband's birthday so i feel i don't know for whatever reason I feel like I feel, I'm sorry, my camera is shaking because I'm on my phone. But for whatever reason, I feel like I feel lazy. I just, I just feel so lazy. Um, I'm like, I'm just in a bad day mood. Like I want to eat, you know, I just want to be vibey. So I'm going to hold on to the productivity. I know, but this is the reality of life. Sometimes you want to be productive and then life happens and you're like, you know what? No, we'll chill and do it another day. So I will do the content, the rest of the content tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to run some errands. I'm going to the post office. And then I'm going to go pick up the pizza because we ordered that. Um, and then we'll come back home and do some birthday. So I wanted it to be like one day in the life. But it's going to be like two, two days. Okay, two days. I'm at the post office, you guys. <gasps> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Can you imagine? back home <laughs> i am always when i have to drive like it's like it's it, i don't know i feel like i've talked i spoke to jackie so she's going to give me practice on the days that she doesn't have work but i'm still definitely a newbie when it comes to driving so yeah <laughs> but i'm back home we have the pizza we have some soda i also bought the plantain and stuff to make the food that I was talking about. So I'm gonna get into that, but this hair is really giving my hair, and you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> Nada. Birthday, birthday, birthday. It's a birthday. Shot, 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 shot. Today's the only day out of the week that I'm drinking alcohol because it's my husband's birthday. So why not? Hey guys. <laughs> So I just got back home from daycare pickup and from my pa is back home. I'm kind of tipsy. I'm not gonna lie. I've taken two shots of the tequila. <laughs> anyway, I have to cook. It's time for me to make the eto that I was talking about. So let's go ahead and cook some food. <laughs>
Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I have. Let me touch it up a little. <clears throat> That's what my mom showed me. She's like, when you cook and you serve, you clean around just to make sure that it's nice and, you know, presentable. So that everybody knows that you're a woman, okay? <laughs> So this is what I have. I have my plantain at all. So usually if you're from Ghana, there's two types of this, right? There's the ripe plantain and then there's the one that's fluffy. The one that's fluffy is actually the most popular one. That one, if you want to achieve the fluffier one, if you're watching this, you want to add unripe plantain. That's the trick. Add unripe plantain to the ripe plantain. So if you're doing like two pieces of ripe plantain, you want to do two pieces of unripe plantain to balance it out. That will give you the fluffy texture that you're looking for. Um, but over here, I didn't get the unripe plantain, so I went with the ripe plantain and that's how come i have this so yeah that's just so you know um but this is what we have it's literally so good and i tell you i haven't had this since i was in ghana i haven't had this like a long time ago that's crazy so i'm gonna serve my husband this i'm, I'm sure you'll be shocked he also hasn't had this for a while and I didn't tell him I was making it and he hasn't seen it. He hasn't been in the kitchen so he doesn't even know what's going on. So I'm going to go serve him um, so that he can enjoy and then I can come back and come and make dinner. But yeah, this is a top. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy I made it. It's so good. I can't wait to eat this. But yeah, you guys, that's it. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> you guys i am so tired i am so tired i've been filming all day like i've been creating content all day and that's because yesterday i told you that you know like i am so bad at myself yesterday i'm like i'm doing a productive day in my life yada. no okay i'm sorry it didn't happen that's just the reality of life it didn't happen i decided that i'm gonna turn it into the weekly vlog because I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, it's Friday. Yes, it was Thursday. Okay, so now that you're back. <laughs> so it's Friday today. Um, I have a hair appointment on Sunday. I'm getting some braids done. Oh, I don't remember the last time I got braids done. I'm so excited. Um, I've been wearing wigs for a minute and I'm tired. Like, I need braids. So i'm gonna get braids done on sunday but today i decided to batch create all the contents that i needed to create so i did that it's currently 254 my brain because i like me i like my head it's not like really aching but like i'm exhausted it feels like fatigue so um daycare pickup is in the next hour so I'm just going to chill for a bit before I do that. Honestly, I can't really chill right now because I have to unbox a few things with you. I have a few things from Amazon that have been sitting out in my, um, you know, my my hallway for a minute. And so we have to get into it. So let me grab those things, um, unbox the things that we have from Amazon, and then I can chill. Then we can go and pick up the little girl from daycare. But it's today's look, okay? I'm sure you've already seen it on Instagram. <laughs> Um, but I absolutely love how this eye look turned out. It is so beautiful. I never know how my eye looks are going to go. Just so you know, I never know how I want to look. I just wake up, set up my table, and then I'm like, what are we going to be today? That's literally the vibe. I sit down on my table and I'm like, who do I want to look like today? And then I just do it. So um, today we went with some smoky eye. I have my hair in a half up, half down. This is the hair that I installed yesterday from yesterday's vlog i mean from <laughs> yesterday so you guys have probably already seen that but this is the hair so beautiful it's so lush i think this is actual brazilian because it's so soft and now i see the difference between this hair and the raw hair that i had installed in the sewing because this is just so soft that one is like so soft but also so full it may if it makes sense like this hair is just so beautiful is what i'm saying it's like really soft and like you know very free and like silky is the vibe 
so i really like it i have an install video <gasps> now that i think about it i have to film the outro for that <gasps> it's true i have to do that because i have makeup on and everything so i have to do that that's so true that's a good reminder so i'm gonna quickly do that let me do that actually before we do the amazon haul before i forget um but yeah we're about to do some amazon haul and let me show you this dress if you haven't already seen it on my instagram because it's so cute ah let me show you it's so pretty let me pull it down because i put it up <laughs> i don't know why i do know why but let me show you and i have this microphone because i just finished filming um, i just finished filming an episode for my podcast my little baby podcast so that's why i have this microphone but i'm gonna switch it around in a second but this is a dress oh, look at this girl look at this dress you guys isn't this pretty isn't this such a gorgeous dress <laughs> she's giving sweet mommy <laughs> it's so pretty i like the dress i like this color though like i would have never thought that um i think this is called what is this blue called blue black or what we call it like what do what do people call it we call it blue black um i think that navy blue let me give it navy blue i think navy blue is the name oh i'm so smart navy blue it just came to my mind let me know if that's correct actually i think that's correct navy blue <laughs> But this is what it looks like i think it's so short though i could i don't think i can really wear this out maybe dinner with my husband i will you know we're in a car the whole night we get down we go straight to the restaurant we come back home that kind of vibe i can do it but i don't think i can ever wear this like just to walk you know like oh it's so uncomfortable like oh I could never, <laughs> but I like the look. I like the vibe. I wish it was a little longer. You know, it's really pretty. If I will ever wear this, I might throw like a long jacket on this, but it's really pretty. I got it on Amazon as per usual. You guys know I work with Amazon, so they send me stuff so that I can review on Amazon. Um, so this is a part of the things that they sent me and I love them. Like, I mean, I love this and I love Amazon as well, but this just is really pretty. So I will leave a link for you guys. Anyone that can wear it, I'll leave a link for you, girl. It's cute or <laughs> whatever. Okay. Like, I don't know. I haven't gotten that confidence yet. It's like the confidence because I feel like like it's too short it's like i don't want you to i don't know i don't know i don't know it's pretty so i'll leave a link for you um but yeah let me go ahead and film the outro for my hair and then i can come back so we will do the amazon review amazon the heck that's actually work anyway let me give me one second you guys i'll be right back um, but we have a few things from amazon so let's go ahead and unbox them let's see what we have I have a power bank here um, I got a power bank because the last time I was going to New York and I the bass left me <laughs> my phone went off on top of it it's like I literally had to borrow someone's power bank in the station I was so ashamed I mean I wasn't ashamed but I'm like oh my goodness how are you traveling I'm prepared like that's just not me like I can't go anywhere if I'm not prepared like you can't invite me anywhere if it's not like a week ago if you didn't tell me a week ago i won't go because i'm not prepared like i can't go anywhere if i'm not prepared that's just who i am like i have to be prepared like a week ahead i have to know prior notice for me is so, so important so showing up to travel with my battery low i just knew that i was sick that day if i wasn't sick nothing else would have made sense to me <laughs> So I got a power bank, okay? I just had to. Because I'm actually going to New York again next Wednesday to do the same thing that I was supposed to do that I couldn't do. So, fingers crossed, we can actually go this time because, I don't know, New York is like, right now I don't even know how I feel about it. It's a steamer. So I got this steamer. Oh, it's the perfect size. Uh, it is so cute. So this is used to usually steam vegetables, if you have dumplings, you know. If you have something that you don't want to cook, but you sort of want to cook it, <laughs> you can steam it, which is literally like putting it all over hot water. Um, so I got some, 
because if you've been watching my vlogs you know that i like dumplings i haven't really had dumplings in a while um but i do have dumplings in my fridge so i decided that you know what let me get this thing out. i saw it on amazon and i'm like let me just pick it up and try it out and see what's up there you go okay so i also got some coffee syrup bottles <laughs> like i don't know why that was so long for me to say um but this is for coffee syrup okay and thank god from amazon because <laughs> it's so easy for me to like just oh i like this new one so this is what it looks like and it comes in a set of two so today i will just clean it up and fill it out i also let me tell you guys i don't know if i already mentioned this but i want to minim i think i already told you guys that i want to minimize my kitchen space and like everything and not just my kitchen my general life i want to like minimize i want to like i feel like i hold on to a lot of things or like collect a lot of things that's the right word you know i just want to like minimize my life that's generally what i'm trying to say i just want to minimize my life and like you know just like throw stuff away that i don't need okay so that's what i'm gonna do i think i will start a series like a little series where i am trying to minimize my entire life so we'll do it in bits it will be i feel like it will be so cool to do that with you guys so we'll do it together um but i have this the next few things that i have are from yiri i have their bra this is their bralette 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 i always say bralette is it bralette or bralette please correct me if i'm wrong which one is it <laughs> Um, but this is their bralette, their ne nearly naked shaping scoop bra bralette, bralette. <laughs> this is what it looks like, very basic, but definitely gives you a lot of hold. I love Yiri products because their quality is top notch. Like all their fabrics, the fabrics that they use for your clothes, it's like, can touch it. You cannot touch it, okay? <laughs> and then I also have this one, this one is so pretty. Let me tell you guys that this is just so beautiful. Oh, it's so heavy. It's, um, what, what do we call this? Oh, let me look at the name. So it's a soft, snug, cotton short sleeve. <laughs> that is so bad. What? So, short. What? Soft, snug. Let's see. Soft, snug, cotton short sleeve, brief body suits. Like, why? This is just one item. Why does it have such a long name? It's not necessary. <laughs> it's unnecessary. Okay, but this is what it looks like. This is the color in itself is so beautiful. The fabric, like, can you imagine? It's like double lined. Like, what? This is so heavy. It will give you the right amount of like, you know, hold that you're looking for. It's, um, you latch it underneath i love these i have a lot of tops like this like literally i have like a bunch all the tops that i wear they are all like unitized like you have to like i don't know if that's the name but you have to like latch them um underneath and i like them i got this in a size medium i work with yiri so i will leave a link for you guys i don't have a discount code the other time i was saying it with my friend i wish i had a discount code with yiri because that would be so cool it can save a lot of money um, but I don't have a discount code with them. Yiddy, I'm hoping that we get a discount code for the girls. They could use it, so yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's everything that we have for deliveries today. I have a perfume coming. I think I mentioned it in yesterday's um, clip that I have a perfume that I ordered from TikTok. I really cannot wait for the perfume to get here. I don't know why, but I'm so excited for that perfume. But I have one last thing. I do have one last thing. I have a new wig. <laughs> so you guys will see the install. But this wig is about to be my everyday wig. I just want to say that. That's why I'm showing you guys the hair. It's about to be my everyday wig. It's a 5x5 five five closure. Um, even though I'm getting braids on Sunday, I'm about to yank this wig right off and put this on. Because one, I have a headache. Two, I feel like once I have the braids on, I don't know when I'm taking them out because I'm doing boohoo braids and I'm doing them with, with human hair. So I know that I really will keep them in for a while because I'm also using treatment for my scalp and everything and I don't want to like bother my hair so much. So 
I kind of want to install this like right now, <laughs> literally like right now. And because it's a closure wig, I'm. It's not like a crazy amount of time needed to install the wig, so I just have to like take this off and put it on. But this wig is so beautiful. Like, look at that closure. Like, look at that closure. It's already worked on. It's already bleached. It's pre-plucked. Like, I just need to put it on. So I'm gonna do that. It's it's three twenty one. I have like 20 minutes to change my hair and I'm gonna go pick up my child I kind of want to take off my makeup because there's a lot of makeup I don't know if I want to be walking in town like this in the middle of the day but I also don't owe anyone so <laughs> I really don't um, but yeah you guys give me one second let me figure out my life and maybe we can go do daycare pickup together but yeah 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 hey guys happy Sunday I know I haven't seen you guys in a few days and I apologize, but my memory card has been full. I'm actually on my phone right now. We are going to get my head done. It's a whole story. My original appointment, an original Breda canceled on me. So I'm going to a different Breda in the Worcester area. So let's go. My hair looks crazy. <laughs> let's go. Let's just get out of here. Cause yeah, it's already tall, so let's go. Hey guys, good morning. Happy Monday. So yesterday when I got home from my hair appointment, I was so tired. I think it's because I haven't had braids in such a long time. I'm not even going to lie. The last time I had braids was somewhere like December or November. And it's already March. So it's been like four months or three and a half something without braids. Um, so it feels different. Yesterday was feeling a little foreign for me. Um, I had to get used to it. I loved it like i love the braids like this is exactly what i went in for i went in a super curly um we used human hair combination of human hair and braiding hair the lady said that i wanted to use all human hair mind you i took my own hair everything let me tell you guys actually something happened okay before the appointment the original lady that i had um i had booked the braids with from like two weeks ago she canceled on me yesterday it didn't make any sense because if you cancel you obviously cancel like two days before the day but i'm not going to dwell on her energy i'm not interested in that so immediately i'm like you know i'm not gonna let this spoil my day this is someone's decision i have made a decision to get my hair braided today so i'm gonna do it if you know me you know me you know that if i want something today it's getting done and that's just what it is um, i'm on my phone also so if i'm supposed to be looking here and i'm looking here that's because you know i'm not used to the whole phone situation but i immediately went on to google to look for someone else um to make an appointment with i honestly didn't think i was going to have any luck with that because i never really do but then eventually i did find someone i called them and then they said i could come the same day yesterday i could just walk in and get my hair braided so i'm like oh that's so cool because i have my braids i mean i have the hair and everything i'm ready i just need to like i was literally so ready showered and everything so i'm like you know what bounce so i gave my daughter food did what i had to do and then i went um and then i met the lady her name is khadija she is such a vibe she's a senegalese um such a beautiful soul like her energy is just so nice she played all the songs that i loved like what say like, she is such a modern girl and i love that and she did my braids for me i mean we talked it through decided on what i should do and you know what will be good for my hair and then we decided that this length and the size and everything was perfect you guys have seen my hair over time it's going through a lot of damage right now i don't know i'm sorry that's my laptop because you're sitting on my laptop um but i don't know what it is with my hair but it's just going through a lot it's like it's literally going through a lot so i'm so happy that i found khadija because this we spoke a lot again she's my african sister so it was a lot to like relate on and that made me really happy but this is the hair i'll take you to the bathroom and like proper show you this is really the hair it's super lightweight i love that i honestly was just 
I, I don't know, I, the boohoo feel, I, it's just the feeling that I like. I like the fact that I'm able to like run my fingers to the hair and it feels like actual hair. It doesn't feel like the braids. That's what I, that's what I told her. I told her that I wanted more of the curls than I wanted the braids because I didn't really care for the braids. I just wanted the boohoo situation or bo Is it called boho or boo? I have no idea, but you get what I'm saying. Um, but she did the hair. It came out really nice. Again, yesterday when I got home, my head was actually pounding. It, it's not less braid. So she, I mean, like, this is my first not less braid also. So I'm actually really happy with the service. I'm happy with the results and everything. I have my hair in braids, finally. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, I will show you guys in the bathroom. I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog. This week has been such a simple week i'm not gonna lie i honestly didn't want to do a weekly vlog that's why i set it off by doing a productive day in our life which didn't actually become productive the next day was productive because i did everything that i was supposed to do that day the next day but it was still a good week i hope you guys liked it i will definitely start a new vlog right now we're going to new york on wednesday so this week's vlog definitely should have a little more activity a little more town vibes i think i've come to a conclusion that i have grown up to become an introvert like i was telling jackie the other time i don't actually care for like a large group of friends and yeah, i don't care for all of that like that like having an outing lifestyle and all of that like i i like it don't get me wrong like i like to have fun but i don't care for it like i don't care to go out of my way to just because i want to go out and like give you guys that type of content because i've seen that a lot of people do that a lot of people's vlogs are mostly like going out and yada yada but in the beginning honestly i was scared i'm like i have such a boring lifestyle i am almost always at home i do the most basic stuff you know um so in my mind i'm like well who's gonna watch that but every time i post a vlog i have real loyal people who would always come back and watch because they don't care if i'm going out or not and i love that i need you guys to know that this is just who i am i don't really be going out like that so this is just really my life <laughs> but anyway um next week at least we're gonna have a little bit of um outing situation in the vlog a little travel situation you know i'm hoping that this time around i can actually go to new york fingers crossed i can actually go to new york have fun come back and you know get it over and done with but thank you guys so much for watching this week comment below if you have any comments okay we always chat a little bit in the comments i always look forward to that so leave me a little comment i hope you have a good week shout outs to um let me give shout outs to one of you guys i think i want to do that if i remember you know <laughs> um but this week's shout out is going to everybody that's comments on my video you guys are so sweet but i just want to say a big shout out to gloria mousy i think that's what her name is called and i have all of them in my mind i don't even have to go and look at the comments because that's how personal my youtube channel feels for me like if if you're here and if you're in like if you keep coming i just know you you're my sister and my friend in my mind okay so Shout out to you, girl, Gloria Mousy. I see you every day and I appreciate you, okay? Let me go to the bathroom and show you what my hair looks like. So this is what my hair looks like. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted it to be like a lot. I wanted it to be like, you know, like big, but it's expensive. I'm not even gonna lie. Tell me why braids are so expensive in this country. So getting that like really big one is like five hundred dollars, like five hundred and fifty dollars. I'm like, what? Five hundred dollars just to look like that? I mean, I don't mind if I can actually afford it, but I'm like, no, no, girl, I am not doing that. <laughs> I am not gonna do that. But anyway, this is what the hair looks like. <laughs> okay thank you guys so much for watching this week and i will see you in next week when they say she get it from her mama i'ma say you fuck right your body with this bump like